Hey, what's up everyone? Glock9 here and welcome to a new and hopefully not too short seven days series I'm doing. We just spawned in right next to a trader, which is nice. We are playing on the pre-gen 6k map for a couple of reasons. One, I've never played on this map before, so I thought we would check it out. And two, we won't get any compo pack POIs to spawn in on a pre-gen map, and I really did not feel like dealing with compo pack POIs in this series. Now, the name of this series, as you can tell by the title, is 10 Minutes to Die. And it's called that because I've got the day length set to 10 minutes, and I've got the horde frequency set to every day, which means we're gonna get a horde every 10 minutes. So that should be fun. Some more settings, warrior difficulty, uh, again, blood moon frequency every day, day length 10 minutes. Blood Moon Warning is disabled. XP Multiplier is 200%, so double XP. Loot Respawn Time is disabled as always. Blood Moon Count maxed out at 64 enemies. And Airdrops, as always, are disabled. So, that's what we're looking at. Let's take this guy out real quick. And then we need to find some feathers so we can continue knocking out these initial challenges. And then we need to find a place to live. Preferably next to the trader. We want to live as close to the trader as possible. That will probably make things a little easier. Where the hell are feathers? Here are some. Okay. Let's grab these with an egg and let's knock the bird nest out for a couple of extra feathers. There we go. Let's get this crafted. Get those crafted. And uh, let's see. We got a mobile home right next door. Let's bring this frame down. We got a house right here across the street. That should be good. Let's live here. We can put the frame right here. That'll keep zombies from coming up to the front door. Bam. Done. Okay. Uh, we're not done. We need stone. Son of a bitch. There we go. Let's get the campfire put down. Right there is fine. It's broken. Who cares? Still counts. We got four skill points to spend now. We're going Strength, Sexual Tyrannosaurus, Pummel Pete, and Intellect. Because we got to get a vehicle. Quickly. Level 2 Club. Since we put a point into Pummel Pete. And uh, let's clear out our home, I guess. It's probably the first thing we should do. We'll get some loot. We'll put down some storage. I guess we're starting up there. Yeah, garage door is locked. Hey, this might be a little setup right here. Look at this. Can we upgrade that shit or do we got to replace it with ladders? No, we can upgrade it. All right, let's put in a hatch or two. We got to constantly be thinking about defenses or we're going to be in trouble. There we go. That should keep zombies from getting up this way. Might even work as a little horde base for these first few days. All right, let's get through here. Got to get this place cleared out. A horde upon us. It's almost hour 15 already. Come on, crawler. I got shit to do and not much time to do it in. Nothing there. And we are dropping down. Good. That means the zombies do not have another way onto the rooftop. Shit. Oh, my God. Close that door. Oh, fuck. Alright, we gotta deal with the businessman, and there's a crawler in here. He's down. Shit. Little guy made it through. Uh, grab these chairs. I could maybe use them. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is not good. They keep waking up. Oh, nice. Finish that guy off. Oh, I wasn't quick enough. Yes. Okay. We're good. Okay, one more behind that door still. Let's go deal with him. Let's repair this door real quick. You just gotta be careful on day one. Because we're so weak. And our stamina is such shit. You make a stupid mistake. And you could end up getting really hurt or even dead on day one pretty easily and it's like when you've been playing at a higher level and then you start a new series sometimes you forget just how weak and shitty you are in the beginning 
That uh, cooking pot is going to help. Nothing there. Uh, scrap, and I'll take the other stuff. Uh, leather, right here, but not going to harvest it right now. Can I get a coffee? No. Nothing there. Nothing there. Bone and murky water. Some brass. You know, I wasn't sure about things like brass and lead and other resources going into this. I was trying to think, like, what's more important? But then I was like, you know what? Everything's important. I'm just going to play this like I normally would play a series, except at an accelerated pace. You know, we still got to get a forge put down. We certainly still have to get a workbench put down so we can craft a vehicle. I'd like a cement mixer so we can make concrete mix. Whoop. Maybe even a chem station so we can craft gunpowder and, and craft ammo. And I know all of that stuff seems ridiculous when you think of the fact that we have to deal with a horde every fucking ten minutes. But we gotta try, you know? And speaking of horde, we're about to get one. Even though it's so early on. Have we even leveled up yet? I don't even know if we're gonna get a horde. If we do right now, it's gonna be like one zombie. Hey, a fire axe, that's good. Ooh, crushed him. There's Trader Joel's. It closed. Oh, thanks, lady. Machine gun. That was nice. And here we go. Horde number one. We got to get to the roof. Oh, wait. I don't have a way up to the roof. Shit. All right, we'll put a ladder in. We'll put a ladder in right here. We need to make some frames. Probably should have done that already anyway. We don't have much wood. 15 pieces of wood. Oh, boy. I don't hear anything, so I, I doubt any zombies are even showing up. Not even enough wood to upgrade that. How about now? There we go. Oh. God damn it. <laughs> Oh, we need parkour, that's for sure. Son of a bitch. Oh, well, whatever. There aren't even any zombies. Horde number one is a bust. Let's get back to clearing this place out. Shit. Oh, no. I can't put a land claim block down here because it's too close to the trader. That sucks. Do we want to live here? With, uh, ooh, pipe pistol. Oh, boy. With, um, no ability. Oh, shit, they're runners. I forgot. They run at night. That's something, uh, I forgot to consider. Zombies run at night, and every ten minutes, it's gonna be night. Shit. Can't do that. <laughs> there we go. Nice. That worked. Yeah, bitch. Out of my way. Alright, well, I don't know. I don't know then. Maybe we'll just use this place as our base. You know, the attic and, and the rooftop. Make that into our base and we'll find another place to live since we can't put a land claim block down here. I don't know anymore. It's like I don't have any time to fucking think. Some food. 10% more damage to humans. I'll sell that. We don't... We don't need to read that. It's kind of pointless. A couple of lockpicks. And a steroid. Alright, we should go, uh... See Jen. Haven't been in here in a while. I guess we should loot it first. Stone. Plastic parts. Ah, the stone will come in handy. More arrows. And also repair work for our stone tools, even though the only stone tool we have right now is our axe. We need to get a shovel crafted so we can start uh, grabbing cobblestone. Hey, what's up, Jen? Good to see you. Long time. I know. You look great. I know. I look great, too. That's awesome. Here, I got some stuff to sell you, I, and then I gotta get the fuck out of here. I'll probably hold on to that steroid. That could come in handy. Okay, not much coin 
You got 762? Good. Give me as much as I can buy. 10 rounds? That's well, shitty. Oh well. Uh, I'm glad here we go. Clear zombies? That's close. You looking to earn some I'll be back. I would kiss you. Something barked at me. It was a wolf. Uh, we need the food. Here we go. Oh, shit. Get out of the way, hatches. All right. Oh, yeah, wolves can't climb. Where'd it go? In my garage, probably. Yep, there he is. Hey, get over here. Don't make me waste ammo. There we go. Wasted a couple of rounds, but that's fine. At least we got some meat now. What do we got here? Learn how to craft steel arrows and bolts. That's a good one to find early on. I don't know if we'll ever get around to crafting them or not, though. Uh, use the aloe, take the honey and the first aid bandage, and let's fire up this job. We're starting up there. Let me double loot the mailbox first. Spear book, I'll read it. All right. Uh, I wonder if we can use this area right here for the horde that's about to show up. I don't know. Got any zombies up here? Yep. Alright, let's move. Couple of lockpicks and plastic parts. Let's get a storage chest crafted, because we're overloaded and, uh, who knows, maybe we'll live here. It's not too far from the base or the trader, but far enough to where we could put a land claim block down here. We got some zombie activity at the back door. Get a hatch crafted, because that might be where we hold down the horde at the back door. Uh, let's get this trash out of the way. I'll just put the storage chest down there for now. That's fine. All right, we got to unload a little bit. There goes horde number two. Oh yeah, that's right. Zombies are still runners, so we gotta be careful about that. Got two of them right here. Oh, nice. That's some more nine millimeter. Speaking of which, let's reload this pistol. Area is clear, job is done. And it's just about morning. That worked out pretty well. Got a job done and fought a horde at the same time. Another spear book. Maybe we should craft a spear as a backup weapon. Got a level 2 bow now. Garage has got to be clear, because the area is clear, and this is part of this POI. We got a electronics crate up here. I'll read this. Yep, robotic weapons do more damage. I scrapped that stun baton. We'll sell the parts. We need a shovel. Got to get one crafted, so we can start gathering cobblestone. What you got for me, Jen? Good job. Oh, pipe bombs or pipe bombs? I don't know, that's a rough decision. Hope I made the right call there. Uh, you know what? I'm not gonna do another job for you right now. Oh, I do want to sell you some shit, though. Um, that? Yeah, you can have that. You can have that for free. And those, and I guess that's it, actually. Alright, give me some more of that 762. Not long before another horde. I guess we'll fight it here at the base. Might as well, right? Chicken! Oh, yeah. We're, we're decent on food right now. Matter of fact, we probably should put a point into Master Chef. So we can cook uh, 
you know, boiled eggs and boiled meat and stuff like that. And teas and shit. Got a couple skill points. So let's go Master Chef. And let's unlock the bicycle. We'll go advanced engineering next. All right, here we go. Hopefully this works because I don't have a backup plan other than just running away. Now, I was thinking about putting bars right here so they couldn't get onto the rooftop because I thought you could just walk through hatches that were closed, but apparently you can't do that. When they're closed, they still prevent you from walking through shit. She dead. All right, there we go. And see, you cannot walk through closed hatches. I swear you used to be able to. I guess they patched that out or whatever. Anyway, three hordes down and we're doing okay. Blade Trap Schematic and uh, Level 2 Battery. See what we got in here. Some cobblestone, a sleeping zombie. That might be a plug. Let's check. Nope. He dead. Let's grab this cobblestone. Guess I'll scrap the empty cans for the iron and let's just loot this place. It's a small enough POI. We should be able to get through here quickly. Maybe just in time for the horde. So if we can loot this place and set up a quick little horde base here, that would be great. Ooh, a wheel and a level three battery. That's nice. I don't really need cement mix right now, so I'm not going to waste the time digging it up. Um, cobblestone is something I could readily use. We got a bird right here. Really? I guess I got to go over that. Okay, got him. Might as well harvest that bird for the feathers. Some food. Nice. We are not hungry enough to eat that yet, so we'll just hold on to it. That door's locked open. Okay, take that stuff. Nothing there. Zombie. Some trash. Iron. Hey, we can use iron. Ooh, popping pills crate. Let's pop this open. First aid supplies is something we can always use more of. Uh, I'll just read that. Take the aloe and the honey. Take all that stuff. We definitely have uh, enough ingredients to make a pipe weapon, but we already have a level 2 pipe machine gun and a level 2 pipe pistol. I do have shotgun ammo, but I'm not really... Hyped on crafting a pipe shotgun. They're pretty trash. <laughs> you know, I mean, I'd rather wait and see if we can find like a double barrel. That would be a much better use for our shotgun ammo. Here we go. Big Mama. I really don't have the time for this shit right now. Oh, God. Come on, thank you. Some food, can I get a coffee? No, what's a man gotta do around here? Couple of bottles of water, that's good. Glass jar, starting to build up our inventory of glass jars. That's why I brought them down to my tool belt, so I remember to fill them up with murky water once we find a water supply. Here's a weapons bag. Some spear parts that I will sell. That zombie must be outside. Scrap the lead, take everything else. I'm pretty much just taking everything. Even that one piece of paper, who gives a shit? A zombie in here. Down he goes, close that door. 
He dead. Scrap those cans. We are about to have a horde, and I don't know what to do. Um, I guess we'll hold down this room, because then we can always climb up there if we need to, even though there are going to be zombies up there. Oh, this is a mess. All right, fuck it. We'll put a hatch in this doorway. And here we go. Shit, I don't have enough cobblestone to upgrade those windows. They're probably just going to come to the windows. That's what it sounds like they're doing. Son of a bitch. Um, here, come to the front door, please. Come to this door. That'd be great if you can do that. Yes, no. Oh, this is so stupid. Let's deal with the birds, at least. Ah, oh, there's quite a few of them. Alright, then. Shit. Uh oh I can't close that door. Okay. Oh, as soon as I go in my inventory to get my pistol. There, you son of a bitch. Oh, God. Let's deal with the rest of the birds. Hey! Where are you going? Oh, here's one. Got him. That other one flew off. Oh, sounds like he's back. Um, you know what? I really don't care about the birds. It's these zombies we gotta worry about, and they are breaking through the wall here. Uh... We can still use the hatch. We'll just use it from this side of the doorway. Yeah, stupid zombies. Yeah, there we go. That wasn't so bad. I just gotta kill this bird. Where are you at, bird? Come on down. Oh, shit. Mm, there was one more. Fuck off, bird. Come on in, buddy. Well, let's get the main stash and get the hell out of here. Come on then, idiots. Walk on those landmines. Hey, if we're gonna do this shit, we might as well do jobs for Jen, right? At least we'll get rewards on top of uh, the loot. Oh, nice. Nice, nice. Get all this shit out of my way. Level 2, Bone Knife. Let's replace our level 1 with that. Well, this fetch quest is the closest, so we'll do that. Uh, I don't know. By the time we get there... We'll probably be on the cusp of getting another horde. I think with the time we have from now until another horde shows up, I'm going to go get the shit from our house and bring it to our base, which will be our base house. I made a mistake. We should have just kept all of our shit here. Let's just live here and we'll have a little bit of a base here. I don't care that we can't put a land claim block down. This is where I'm going to keep my shit. Here we go. Horde number five. <laughs> this is ridiculous. Hopefully we don't get any birds tonight. Uh, you know, we can make a phase two through this opening here. Not now, though. Too late for that. That'll have to wait for the next horde. Okay, that was not so bad. Took almost all night, though, because I used mainly melee. That's just the way it's going to be. I was thinking about that. You know, as the hordes get bigger, it's going to be morning before the horde is over. 
And at that point, I'll probably just run away from wherever I am. I'm not gonna let my ego take over and feel like I have to kill the entire horde every time. Because if I did that, eventually we'd, it would just be non-stop fighting. Do you know what I mean? Because the whole, by the time I was done killing one horde, the next horde would be showing up. So I'm just gonna fight through the night, and when it's morning, move on. All right, get a little phase two going on right here. Put a hatch down. This way, if they get onto the rooftop or whatever, I can just back up behind this hatch and I'll be safe. Here we go, we got a bed roll down. We can go ahead and craft another land claim block. Oh, wait a minute. I can't use the land claim block in this house, duh. <laughs> Such an idiot. All right, at least we got a bed roll down though. That will prevent some zombies from respawning. It just doesn't have that as big of an area as the land claim block does. Here we go, got some murky water, that's nice. We'll go get this job done. We'll fight a horde, <laughs> then we'll go back to Jen's, get our reward, and we'll just see what day it is at that time. This shit's crazy, but I tell you what, I'm liking it, it's pretty fun. Okay, we gotta retrieve the supplies. Don't have to worry about clearing zombies, but if we're gonna fight a horde here, we might want to do that anyway, you know? Plus, I want to get the main stash, so we're gonna have to kill all the zombies anyway. Alright. Um, we could do something with this ladder right here. Because we do have a hatch at the top already that we can open and close. Uh, we got a bird. Come on. Got him. Uh, we could do something with this area right here, maybe. I'm good on that bandage. Or we just get down to the main floor and uh, open up a door and put a hatch in the doorway again, because we can continue to use that uh, strategy in these early stages anyway. Eventually, the hordes will get too big that a hatch in a doorway just ain't gonna cut it. I mean, it will, for a little bit. We'll have to have a backup plan, though. And nothing much in here. Good on that stuff. Bathroom. Kenny. Close that door. The main loot is in there, but so are zombies. Uh, zombie at the back door. That could be where we fight this horde tonight. A uh, stun repulsor mod and uh, level one battery. I probably just scrapped that for the lead. Hey, some cornmeal. I'll take that for good luck. It's got to work, right? Come on out, zombies. Honestly, though, I need every piece of food I can get. All right, we gotta kill these fucks before the horde shows up. Can't be dealing with these zombies in the house and a horde, too. That will not be good. Oh, boy. There are multiple ways to get inside this house, so even if I get a hatch down by this back door, there's no telling that the zombies will come to that door. I mean, unless I put blocks in front of the other one, there's just no time. There's no time to do anything. Oh, that was nice. There we go. Okay, main loot. A rifle. Another uh, machine gun, which I can sell. Finally, some coffee. Okay, with a belly full of cornmeal, I'm ready to fight the horde. That's not going to work. We got to go upstairs. I got to make some frames. Okay, um... Let's do this. Block them off right here. There's no other way for them to get up to the second floor. That'll work, right? Yeah, that'll work. And we'll fight them right here. And we just gotta wait for them to uh, break in. Yeah, there's no other way for them to get up here. We're good. I think. Here we go, finally. I thought it was going to be morning by the time they got up here. 
Oh, that's bullshit. Oh, Skinny Pete got through. Of course he did. Oh, so did that guy. Oh, they're all climbing through. That's a shitty setup. Oh, God. Close that door. Fuck. I got a loot bag. I really didn't want to use ammo. I was going to try and get through tonight without using any. Get out of here, lady. Fuck off. Oh, boy. That's more 762. That's good. She's dead. But I hear more. If they don't get up here by morning, I'm just going to leave. What you got for me, Jen? Wow, I didn't think uh, that. 762. Good I will job. take that. I got some stuff I can sell you, I think. This mod, yeah, you can have that, and these machine guns, and that's it, I guess. Me if you need medical supplies. All right, let's do that fetch. You know? It's close. Oh, I, oh, I hope it's not the house that. we already did. And we're getting a late start. But look at this. This might be the perfect setup for the horde tonight. We got dogs, but we also have landmines. Is that right? That's not right shit. Uh, we got to remove this. Put in a frame, and then we can put in another hatch. And we're going to also have to put in a piece of ladder. Okay, that's pretty much all I can do. Should be good. Um, oh, a double pole. I can put a double pole up to prevent them from crawling through there. Double, uh... But just pole. Here. What the hell's going on? Why can't I put something there? Oh, forget it. Too late. Fuck out of here, Kenny. Fuck off! Don't be crawling through here! Yes, Kenny's dead. Hey, get out of here, you little shit. Thank you. Stay right there, Thick. No, Thick, that's a bad Thick. Oh, there we go. That's what the second hatch is for. Keeping the crawling zombies out. Well, it doesn't work when there's one in there already. Come on, dude, get out of there. All right. Damn it. Well, if we keep doing these makeshift bases every night, like a rambling man type thing, it's not going to last long. We need to focus probably on just one base. But the problem is, then we can't venture off too far. Because after 10 minutes, there's a horde. This might be the way we have to do it. Which I don't mind. It's kind of fun trying to come up with a quick horde base like this. And so far, we've been pretty successful. Look at that shit. Fucking seven hordes in the time span of one day. That was pretty fun. I have to pause it right now because if I talk to you guys and do my outro and shit and let the time run, it'll be, there'll be a fucking horde again. So I got to keep it paused. Anyway, I really enjoyed that. That was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it as well. I can't believe... We didn't really have that much trouble. Oh, you know what? I can't really keep it paused right now at 2 in the morning. Because if I back out of the game now and then come back in at 2 in the morning, another horde is going to spawn in. So we got to play until the morning, which will happen very soon. We got runners still because it's the night, so we just got to be careful. This job is still going on, too. We got to get the supplies back up, bitch. Uh, scrap that for the cloth. I'll take that. But, I mean, just the thrill of trying to play the game and survive knowing that you really don't have any time to spare at all. 
Ooh, look at that. That's a great find right there. We can get rid of that stupid pipe pistol. We should modify it first, though, so we take the six rounds out of it. There we go. And it's morning. So I'm just going to back up in here and pause it again so we don't lose any more time. And this is where we'll pick up the next episode. We'll go get the supplies. We'll get back to Jen's. We'll get our reward. And then I guess we'll take another job. We could keep doing jobs, and then wherever she sends us for the job, that's where we'll fight the next horde. And that'll work probably until we get into, like, Tier 2, Tier 3 jobs, if we even make it that far. Anyway, we'll just see how it goes. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I hope you're looking forward to seeing more of my suffering. Thank you so much for watching and all the support. You guys are the best. You can follow me on Instagram or Twitter if you want. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more 10 Minutes to Die, and I will catch you guys in the next episode.